In this video, I'm tackling art supply organization for a teenager with very limited space. So we're gonna utilize under bed storage for all of her art supplies. This will be a challenge. Her room has shifted and we've moved a couple times. So all of her art supplies have been dumped in bins and they just haven't been organized for quite a while. So the first thing we wanna do is take inventory of what we have. I decided to tackle all the pens, pencils, paint, and some of the other supplies while she tackled detangling the floss for me and also some yarn. While this is nice because it holds some of her stuff, it won't hold all of it, so it's not gonna work for this solution. So I'm gonna eliminate this. After getting a feel for what we have here, I decided to do a first sort where I wanted to take all of the pens and pencils and get them separated from the rest of the stuff. If you've seen my other videos, you know I don't do anything without my trash bag, my donate, and my put in another place bag. So I'm using them for this project too because there's plenty of things in here that don't belong with her art supplies. Now I'm gonna start more detailed sorting so I know what I'm looking at. When I'm looking for storage containers, I'm gonna need to make sure that I know how much I need to store for pens, how much pencils, and how much paint. So that's what I'm really trying to get a good feel for here. So I'm getting close. After I got done with that initial sort of the pens and pencils, I looked over and realized I missed an entire bin of her supplies. So taking a peek at what we're dealing with here. Okay, the initial sort is done. Yay, I'm so happy. I've got things kind of into broad categories and now I'm ready to start looking at more detailed sorting and storage bins. I want to make sure that this organization really suits her and works so that she has easy access to her supplies. Since they're gonna be stored underneath her bed, I want her to be able to take out all of her pins at once, but I still want there to be some organization. I don't want it to be a bin like this where everything's just thrown in here because I think that that will not maintain over time. So I'm gonna to try to get like for like so that I know how I can put them into some sort of organization bin that will work for her. Okay, so here's the space I have to work with. Everything needs to fit inside this storage bin and be able to roll out and in from underneath her bed. So this is gonna be a challenge. I got these for her pens and pencils. So two will be dedicated to pens and one will be for her pencils. And I think these are a nice size for her to easily grab and be able to use. 
of all the storage bins that I'm gonna utilize for this project, the pens and pencils were probably the hardest because they have varying sizes and none of the bins that I found seemed to work. So I ended up finding these jewelry bins and they're gonna work perfect, I think. I won't need all of the extra dividers that you can put in to corral jewelry, but that's okay. I'll use the few that I need and then I'll get rid of the others. It's always good to think outside the box when you're looking for storage bins because who would have thought that a jewelry container would work for art supplies, but it does. My daughter was helping me on the side every once in a while, but she didn't want to be on video. Maybe next time. Moving on to the embroidery floss, I really wanted to get a good solution because that really turns into a disaster just thrown into bins. I like the one where you wrap it around the plastic or they have cardboard they even have like llamas or you know zebras whatever you want but I just thought the option on the left was not going to be maintained by her and I didn't think it was practical so I wanted to go practical I went with the sleeves and I think it worked out really well I had her detangle and organize all of her embroidery floss and I had her put it into four categories because I thought that that's about I'd have about four bunches of the floss in the end so let's see how it works out One of the things I was debating with the solution was whether the bags would tear. So I think actually they're gonna be fine because of the way that I'm storing them, I'm putting them in an area where they're just gonna be on their own in the container. If they were tossed in with a bunch of other stuff, I'd be more concerned, but I think this is gonna be fine and I don't think they'll tear. Okay, moving on to the paint. As with the pens and pencils, I wanted to be able to keep all the paint together if I could. So this bin is perfect. It took me a little while to find it, but again, I got another art bin and this is gonna be perfect. I'll put links and details for all of these storage bins in the video description. I quickly gave up on the idea of having all the paint neatly organized in each section. I think having the paint in each section, even if it lays down, is fine as long as it's divided. And for the little ones, I tried to divide it by acrylic, watercolor, oil, and um, other things. And I'm also going to label um, the different sections.
This small container was perfect for her paint brushes. I think it was like three or four dollars from Joann's. I hope I can find the link. When I was looking at storage options for her pens and pencils, she really wanted these sets that were still full sets to stay in their original containers. So that's why they're not included with the rest of them. When selecting the under bed storage, I did go with the option with the wheels because she has hardwood floor. If she had carpet, I would have gone with the cheaper option that didn't have the wheels and it, um, it would have just slid on the carpet. I did decide early on not to even consider having the lid on it. I just don't think it's practical and I don't think it's necessary. Wow, that was a lot of stuff, but what a fun project. I really enjoyed working on this, and even though my daughter didn't show on camera, it was fun working with her on this project as well. I am so happy with the end solution because I was able to get all of her supplies in one area under her bed, and she'll have easy access to it. And I like the fact that each item, the pens, the paint, they're in closed storage, so she can just grab the whole thing and go to where she's working and utilize everything and then put it back. Love the way it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you'd change something. I'd love to hear. See you next time, bye. Here's another organization video and don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots of these types of videos coming.